contentious issue for the city of Austin. Some want strict short-term rental regulations. Others say tough regulations would hurt our city. Tonight, council members had their say and approved these regulations, prohibiting large gatherings like weddings, bachelor parties, and corporate events at short-term rentals. More inspections during the application and renewal process for certain types of rentals. And the removal of clustering, having too many short-term rentals in an area. While some homeowners say the rentals are becoming a nuisance in their neighborhoods, KXAN's Amanda Brandeis explains why the opposition says stricter regulations are not the answer. Oh, it's really the only way to do Austin is on a bike. It's just the best way to get around Austin. Mark Mitchell makes a living helping tourists see the city. And he says about a quarter of those visitors stay in short-term rentals. They stay longer, so they rent from me longer. It's just one of the reasons why he doesn't want to see regulations become too strict. It would be really disappointing because Austin would be one of the first cities to have gone that far. And I like to think of Austin as being more prog progressive than that. But city council says it's time for tougher regulations. My biggest concern about, about type 2 short-term rentals, those, those units that are used as really many hotels 100% of the time, my biggest concern is that they have um, transformed housing that could be available to Austin families into hotel rooms. Council member Tovo hopes to see those short term rental twos phased out. But the opposition says that move will push them to operate illegally. They're trying to kill a fly with an elephant gun. It just doesn't make any sense. You know, when you, when you try to make these big blanket uh, changes that affect the people who are doing it right instead of just enforcing the, the laws that already exist. Property manager Jay Reynolds says the industry brings in millions to the city and says strict regulations will threaten that. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. The city council will need to have a public hearing before these code changes are approved. It will likely be several months until an ordinance is passed.